What's good, gamers and folks? Terrence the Gamer here, and we'll start my first podcast of the year. I'm here with my man's Afro Kinzu. What up? And my man's new guy to the scene, Lasso. Hello. D Lasso. <laughs> okay, yeah. I won't do that again, all right? Okay, but um, you know, so podcast, first podcast of the year, okay? We're going to start this first podcast talking about last year, okay? All right? Last year's game, the game of last year was pretty okay. We had some games that came out. We had some good games came out. We had some stinkers came out. I need to go back in the oven. We had some new IPs come out that surpassed all expectations. You know what I'm saying? And we it's been a pretty good, decent year for gaming. I thought it was overall was good for 2019. What you guys think? Uh, the end of 2019 was kind of the good point. Uh, I'm happy that Sekiro, that was like that's one of the new IPs that you that was that was game of the year, which I was happy about. What about yourself? What about yourself, Lasso? What, what game in, did you? Uh, it's any game, game, any game. There's no limits. Whatever game is game is a game. So Ooh, game is game is game. 2019. Um, what was the release date of God of War? <laughs> Boy, really? Seriously? Okay. Not 2019. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm skipping. Well, it doesn't matter. What game did you play in 2019 that you enjoy? It doesn't matter where you. It's something. If you played for, played for the first time last year, that's fine. First yeah. time last year. Got nothing. Got nothing. Nothing. I'll okay. come back. To you. We're, we're gonna come back. To you. Okay. For me myself, you know, I played. I can go month by month of games I played. Starting in January, I didn't do anything in January. Let's not do that. Let's I didn't do anything in January. You know what I'm saying? What you got in February? Huh? What you did in January? What you played? Uh, February. You know what I got? February. Well, you played January. You played, Kingdom, you played Kingdom Hearts, which, which you hated. I know. You didn't want to talk about that. No, we're not talking about that. No, okay. but but you played Resident Evil Two, right? No, Resident Evil Two was a name. No, that came out in January. That came out. No, it did. Oh yeah, yeah. Je- Resident Evil Two was good, but February Metro Exodus. Metro Exodus came that out February. Okay, that was the sh- that was the ish. Okay, uh, Apex Legends came out in February. Okay, Battle Royale game, pretty much you know, it's right under Fortnite and PUBG all that stuff. Type made by the creators of Titanfall Respawn. A pretty good Battle Respawn. Royale game. Respawn is doing actually pretty good. Yeah, they've been, they, they've done they've done they've done good this year. You know what I'm saying? What else came out? In, in, in February, uh, Anthem. God knows. Okay, so Anthem yeah. is getting a rework. We 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 they they announced they're going to rework that game. Hopefully, matter. let's hopefully hope that it hits a no man's sky. Because if it hits a no man's sky, you know it's it's going to be good. But I'm not keeping I'm not keeping on because it's AEA. So you know. I mean, it was uh, the the core gameplay was fine. The core gameplay was fine. The, the flying around the, the loop weapons, system is what killed the, the loop system sucked. The game grind sucked. The open world sucked. The storyline sucked, and for me, because I was a big boy Colossus, the flying sucked. It could get you some kind of booster pack. That, so people want to get on the game, like if you want to feel like everybody knows the comparison is Iron Man. Well, the Colossus had the most, like one of the most best flying abilities for me because you could fly with your shield and shield bash people. Yeah, flying, but you didn't too. fly very well. People, I think people's miss people because I think the people had the, the notion that there's gonna be flying around and definitely an anthem with these javelin suits and maybe oh, like yeah, overheating yeah, yeah. and stuff. People kind of got overheat. I mean, I, I get it, slow heat, but people kind of. Really compare that to what Iron Man. Now, Iron Man can pretty much fly around definitely in the movies with the arc reactor on his chest and all that good stuff, okay? But, you know what I'm saying? It's different. Comic books is different than, you know what I'm saying, the movies, you know? But, with yeah. how many negatives that you just named with that, I think it was a nine to one ratio, <laughs> core gameplay being the one. Yeah. I don't even think it's worth talking about. I mean, it was a disaster. I mean, the, the clearance sale on it was amazing. Uh, don't grab it still. It's not worth your time. Not until it gets reworked. And, and even then, is it going to get its player base back? I think what we should talk about is this actual future. What nope. they announced oh, the future. Future. It did. It got yeah. more. I think, I well, yes, but No Man's Sky also did not bomb as hard as oh, Anthem. No Man's Sky did bomb. Not, not as hard oh, as yeah, Anthem. Yes, Anthem did. kind of bombed. No, Anthem and bombed And Anthem bad, relies on its online the, gameplay, the, the so it's even worse. Because No Man's Sky, you can still play that single player. And, you know, get okay. satisfaction so, of it. But so, the problems game, with No Man's Sky... Was that they advertised it too much? They advertised, they advertised it. They it made way me lie. He lied. And he lied because they said it was going to be multiplayer. That shit didn't become multiplayer until Beyond. two, three years or something yeah. later. So actually, No Man's Sky actually bombed bad, bad. No, 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 no. <sighs> it bombed. It was it, it was with Anthem's mostly negatives. No Man's Sky had overwhelmingly negative when it came out. So mostly to overwhelmingly, that's a pretty big jump. I, I feel like. Also, what can you expect from a small team? There, like, it was Bioware. I was gonna say, wait, no, wait, no. Um, Anthem, wait, no. He's talking about No Man's Sky. 
You know, no, no, you don't, you don't lie and advertise stuff like that. Yeah, you don't do that. And and oh, like, no, I'm not, I'm not saying about the lying. I don't know specifically what he lied about. He lied about the multiplayer. He lied about you be able to meet people, like come across, come across people a la Destiny or something like that. And that, those two things that kind of, you know, threw yeah, people off. Yikes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Anthem, Anthem really didn't, they technically didn't lie about anything. They just, it just, it, just, it, it was lie. just not cooked. Good. Cooked properly. Cooked properly. Put back in the oven. We I'm really glad I didn't get hyped for the title. I was like, oh, cool, another Monster Hunter S game to play. And plus, the load, the load of screen issue, but that got fixed. You know what I'm saying? But okay, we're we going to have to circle back around to Anthem. This is going to be a good discussion for another podcast. Well, that's a paperwork. Well, for me, I played Crackdown 3. And you know, I didn't play that. Okay, I'm a huge fan of Crackdown 1 hey, and Cruz. 2. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, screw him. Screw him. Oh, be quiet, okay? All right, you know what I'm saying? But that's just one of those things where I don't think you need celebrities to make a game. So think about that. How many celebrities they put in games like Call of Duty and they're still average of campaigns? Except Modern Warfare. You want to get this? Is Call of Duty? Yeah. Uh, um, Kevin Spacey was in uh, Advanced Warfare as the, the, the CEO. Uh, the guy was Kit Harrington was in uh, Infinite Warfare as a bad guy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, there's, there's celebrities. And, uh, was, why, why Christopher even, Maloney was in uh, Black Ops uh, 4. As why did he even do that? Like, I, I'm a free, like I, I really wish, like, from series <laughs> like this, that I had a time travel machine. Specifically for situations like this, Can't go or it's past. like, okay, I want to see what the game nets after the first six months. If this per- if this celebrity was in the game versus whether they were not in the game, Can't like Trump. innocent innocent time travel. That's what I'm gonna call it. We should make a whole there segment. Is no such thing as it is time innocent time travel. There's no such thing as innocent time travel. Have you seen Time Cop? I oh, haven't, well, but for the sake of it, we're gonna say like. That's innocence. You haven't seen Time Call? Okay, I'm going to bring a Blu-ray to you where you can watch Time Call. That's one of my favorite movies. I'm a huge I grew up on Van Damme. I'm a huge fan of some of his movies. Time Time Cop had one scene where this dude would travel in time to figure out the spot numbers. He went into the future and worked his spot. Wait, that's not innocent. What the fuck? That was not it. I um, said innocent time travel. Ooh, time. language is going on YouTube. They, oh. might, they might, they, I got I to gotta boot that out when I edit the video, time. okay? All right, we're going to come back to that. Cause you know you don't mess this up, okay? Uh, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> okay, so let's go. On. What came out in March? Dead or Alive Six, mm, fighting game. I'm, I'm Dead or Alive kind of guy. You know what I'm saying? I like Dead or Alive. It's fast paced. The online was kind of eh, it's hit or miss for me. You know, I'm in the Middle East, so online is kind of wonky over here. The superiorly fantastic my game of the year, Dead or Devil May Cry Five, back to form. The game was great. You know what I'm saying? I love that game. You know, it was awesome. <laughs> Second one, we don't get, we don't get the second one. Okay, yeah, second man, second, second one came out in March. It you came out in March. Second one came out in March. First Fantastic part. game. I'm still trying. I'm still working through that one. You know, I'm, I'm stuck at the guy with the lightning with the, the ball. He's lightning. Shoot me, hitting the lightning, jumping in the air. I, I don't know. I'm working through that one. Okay, the division two came out in March. That game. Was I'm never. Bad. I was never a fan of the division overall. I don't like the gameplay style. I don't like the dark. It's, zone. it's not the gameplay style. Division is one of those games where it's like. You want to play it by yourself, but it's boring. It is very and boring. And then when you play with your friends, and even that, it still feels kind of boring. It is so. It's very, much like, so very much so. It's a very boring game. It's very uninspiring combat. I just, I don't like the dark zone. I couldn't get into final PvP matches. It just okay. I play. I didn't even finish it. I thought I was done with the game. Then more people show up. I'm like, you know what? Screw this. I'm not playing this no more. I just stopped playing it. You know, it, just, it, it never did. World War Z. World War Z was one of okay, so World War Z was one of the most underrated it good. It PS4 and PC games that come out. Nobody realized it that it was gonna be good. That when they played that shit, it was like a punch oh, in, man, in the mouth. Great. Like, <laughs> as much as I feel the zombie apocalypse, thanks to Dawn of the Dead, I'm zombies running through the mall, jumping over stuff, and the Grand of the Dead with the Big Daddy guy and all this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Dying light and stuff. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> I like World War Z. World War Z was awesome. You can play World War Z, Mr. Lasso? No, I think I want to. I want to. You got to try to do it now. You got to try that out. Okay. Okay. It's, it's online. You know, you got co op mode and you got multiplayer mode, PvP, zombies coming in and stuff like going against the enemy. I, I like that. I think that's pretty awesome. And, but the, the, it, where it really shines is the co op campaign. They're just coming at you, man. You got to play. And, and the oh. one thing I liked about that game specifically is it did what a lot of games just don't do. It's. What you see is what you get. All those zombies running towards you, those are all enemies you have to shoot. They come to get that work. <laughs> all right. 
All right, you got Mortal Kombat 11 came out. April, Mortal Kombat 11. Mortal Kombat 11 came out. It came out strong, but the combat in that game was so bad. It's kind of, it's, it's a little bit, I didn't get to enjoy Mortal Kombat XL because of my location and region locking and stuff. So I didn't really get to play that online, play through the story. I like the story of Mortal Kombat XL better. And I like the story of Mortal Kombat 11. I'm sick of the time thing. It's annoying in games, you know, come on now. I like Mortal Kombat X passing the torch to the new generation type of storyline it had. You know, I felt like that one, but the whole time thing was very annoying. For me, I like Mortal Kombat because I can find people to play that game online. It's casual. It's geared towards a more casual audience with the gameplay than the previous Mortal Kombat. And, okay, I, 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 need, I need some casual in my life. I, I do pretty well when I play Mortal Kombat matches online if I got a good connection. But it's got it's the same stuff as there, the towers, the blue. Yeah. It had a controversy at the beginning about the way some of the women was dressed and Jax's ending. And I think people just find anything what they was think Jax's ending? Jax's ending was about basically him changing time and making black people the greatest civilization on the planet. And people, YouTubers came out, oh, this game is trying to be woke. Of course, because the way the females are not hyperly sexualized as they were in previous Mortal Kombat games. You don't see Katana and Sonya with big breasts and sticking out. And they're all covered up, you know what I'm saying? They're it's properly it's, dressed. It's, they're properly dressed. You're, you're a warrior. You should be dressed like a warrior. No, nobody fights in the thong, kicking butt, and you know, barely you got anything on. You know what I'm saying? Let's just be real about that, okay? You know, you dress like you with some body, some body armor on. You are Sonya Blade as a soldier. She should dress like a, a dog on a general. You don't see no soldier running around dressed in no cleavage showing uniform on. Come on now. I mean, the people just find anything they put about. That was, the one, that was the two things that came about. And the grind, the early... They had the just pack. like the Tifa thing earlier? Yeah, the same thing with Dead or Alive. Everybody was mad because of Dead or Alive. Tifa was smacking her breasts. I honestly can't smaller. play Dead or Alive. I don't ever want to play a game where I'm... Uh, that'd be embarrassed if someone walks in the room. Yeah, now was the problem with Dead or When Dead or Alive 6 came out, they actually got rid of that. All the fan was like, hey, we want our... Uh, I'll call it multi bump match your texturing. Okay. They want that and they, put, and they put it back they if, put it back in. Okay, okay, good. They put it back in. If you know? you if you're buying dead or alive, come on. That's real No yeah. I like Dead or Alive's combat. It's fast yeah, paced. I, I, I like the counter. Really good. Is it really good? I like the okay. counter, I like the gameplay. It's I good. just don't play you know my fighting game. I know I know what you like I know what you like. I'm just saying Would you stop with these words, man? I gotta I gotta beat you, man, okay? I'm trying to get my time. I'm trying to get my time. I'm trying that's why I said texture bitch bump not I didn't say that. Okay, all right. Of course. <laughs> and, of course, Days Gone came out in April. Ugh. Okay, Days Gone was one of those games. They made it too far, too long. Yeah. <laughs> too long. Yeah. And it, even when you thought I was done, like, right when I was at the end, I was like, yo, I got out. And then I got to the second area. I was like, I can't do it no more. Yeah, that's it. Like, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it's a good premise. I like the, I like the, the physical, the motorcycle, and like running around. And stuff, but like I said, it was just too long. It just got to the point. Okay, did you beat it? I did. What happened? Um, I don't want to tell. I don't want to spoil it for people. Gonna, I don't want to spoil it for people who might be listening. You know what I'm saying? But I'll tell you offline. Why? Right. You know what I'm saying? But it just it just got too te- the, the, the gameplay, the grind. It was just too tedious. Mm-hmm. The weapons was kind of like useless to me. You know what I'm saying? Cause I just used the same weapons the whole game. Mm-hmm. Machine gun, sniper rifle, mow them zombies down. Gun, mow them down. That's what I use. You know, what I'm saying? I ain't really experiment weapon. It just kind of got. Right. Next yeah, okay, next one up. Okay, we got, we, got, we got May. Rage 2 came out. Rage 2 was really good. I, the gameplay game was good. The gameplay was phenomenal. The story, not so much. Well, the story, I see, the thing about... Does it matter? The story about, the thing about Rage was I wasn't going there for the story. Exactly. I was literally going there just to okay, gunplay and the different abilities. Okay, okay that, that's all great. And that's all good. It's The gameplay is great. It's open world doom. Mm-hmm. It's great. I can't wait for Doom Eternal. Yeah, that's gonna be good. Come, I can't wait. It's great. It's great. It's great. But the story was like really, really weak. And I, if I've ever seen the story in the game, this, and it's really short. It's really short, like four or five hours. You be done with the game. I like the vehicle though. The vehicle was talking trash. I loved about the vehicle you drove. The main vehicle. It was. It was. My favorite vehicle was the I think it would have benefited more from a co-op. If it had a co-op. I thought it was. No. No. Oh. I think it would benefit more if it had a co-op too. Not even the PvP, just a co-op mode where you want to give somebody three, two, three guys, but, uh, or even a horde mode. Like you, you get in there, you blow. I think it would benefit more because the game is good. It's a beautiful game. I mean, it, multiplayer, yeah, you know, a lot of games that disappointed me was like uh, you know multiplayer. <laughs> Dead or alive. I mean, not Dead or alive. Um, Dead or alive right. five. Um, but they, he said it was not going to be that kind of. I mean, I wish it was. Like, the thing was like he had he had the biggest chance to blow up everything with the bloody palace. I know. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well. Okay. Well, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna circle back around that maybe. Okay. Dauntless came out. If you played Monster Hunter. 
play Dauntless. In my opinion, is better than Monster Hunter. I like the. I and like the. Play do you play better? I've played, played Dauntless. multiple. The, the game Hunter. plays better than Dauntless. I like Dauntless game. It's more fast paced. It's fast paced. Okay. Do I, I, I just I like, Monster Hunter World is great. Yeah, I'm it's a great saying, game. Just, but Dauntless is the reason why I say Dauntless is better is because Monster Hunter's main focus is the monsters. But Monster Hunter has even in the older Monster Hunter, they have too many monsters Monster that they Hunter. just they just redo. Rechange the color, recycle. Well, this is different from Monster Hunter. That was one complaints about Monster Hunter World. Yeah, yeah. Monster Hunter World. They recycle the monster. monster. Dauntless, when they recycle a monster, they completely change the whole entire monster. This monster is different. You can't even. But remember, this is some a lot of, for me. Me too. This is a lot of people's first time even dealing with Monster Hunter. A yeah, people, no. A lot of people didn't mess with it when it was on Nintendo and PlayStation yeah. and stuff like that. I, that. That's why I don't find the recycle from Monster Hunter like as big of a deal. I think it's actually a very cool. It's very good homage. You get these uh, different. Uh, armor sets that you know you used to run on PSP, and now you have it high graphics, and they add this in, this in. And now you can change the colors. That's great. Like you know, it, but I don't like recycled monsters. I, I I can understand if the recycled <laughs> monsters are of similar. Like for instance, um, let me think about two monsters that. We talking about similar. the we talk about the one that's with the boxing slime. No, no, the T the T Grips the and the Tigrex? and the Burial. They're the same in the. N- Naga Kuga. They they're fly. all the same. They're all okay, the same. Okay, they're okay. all the same. They're not all the same. They got the wings on their arms. Okay, one, okay. one of them is just ice. One of them is just, you know, physical. And one of them is just, you know, bleeding. But they're all the same type of monster. You know what I'm saying? They're the same. What? They, that's because they're wolverines, you know? Okay, but they ain't got to be that same. Okay, at least. They're at not. Least. Naga Kuga has. He's bleeding. He makes you. He wounds you, makes you bleed. Well, also, his moveset. I would say it's... Okay. He's mostly his tail. So, you gotta... Okay, have you played... Absolutely. Have you played the new, um, the new Dauntless? No, I'm not gonna talk about Dauntless. If you haven't played the new Dauntless... Because if you play the new Dauntless, you'll see exactly what I mean. It's free to play. Because it's the, free to the play. New, the Dauntless, like I said, there's an enemy called the Street I'm not lie that Barry is a disappointment. Because even when I met him originally in uh, Monster Hunter 4, when I first... Where was Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate? One of those two. Um, he was disappointing... Because he, oh, you look badass, and then like the moose said, like he's kind of. How did you montage your whole, your whole, your whole? Oh, okay. Um. So if you, when you play Dauntless, there's an enemy called the Shriek. It's like a regular. He's just regular. He's a normal monster. He throws, he throws a gust of uh, wind at you. He'll slam his fist on the ground, cause a shockwave. Then there's an Ice Shriek, and he'll do a tornado. He'll throw a tornado, but the tornado will come towards you. But what you ain't seeing behind it is that there's ice spikes coming behind the tornado. So you gotta watch out for that and the spikes. I've seen them do some of that on Monster Hunter World with some of the older monsters. I just came across a shrieking Laguna, uh-huh. Lagana. Now it does the same thing where it flies at you and it shoots ice behind. I think it's kind of copied down this little probably. probably. You know but, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I like I like, I like the weapons. The weapons are the more weapons space. I, like, I like the guns. I like the, the sights. It's more fast. The people. weapons and Dauntless are better because there's a problem with Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter has this issue where they, they they know this is good and they don't strive from it. That's the main issue. So yeah, like it's I, I've out. used every weapon in Monster Hunter Hunter. Every single one. They're all the same. It don't matter. <laughs> and when I get on Donald's, yo, I can use I can beat a monster's tail with my fist? Hold up. That's a whole different aspect for me. Oh, yeah, we're gonna keep this long. We're gonna keep this one moving along. We can talk about these games for hours and days and hours. See that folks? We can keep on going. June Judgment came out. I didn't play. I didn't play Judgment. Judgment was actually a really good game. Uh, so Yakuza, of course, played by the creator of Yakuza. Um, he did really good with everything he added. He added a lot of different things that you know the, what was different in Yakuza because you're playing an investigator, a detective. Yeah. So everything's different. You 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 look at things, you find things, you get like little hints on certain things, and of course, the dude's fighting style. He has two different fighting styles, different ones. Ones for fighting multiple, ones for fighting one person. But all in all, the story is really good. Of course. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I think Samurai Showdown came out. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't like Samurai. Not, I'm not. Good. I didn't like it. I think it's just too much like the older games. It, it seems to me. I've seen videos of it on YouTube. I didn't see much improvement past Samurai Showdown games. So I just. The, I went over. I just went over it, that. It went to the e. It went to the e sports section for a little bit, and then it kind of got kind of dropped because everybody was just like, yeah. There's nothing. There's nothing really. Like I said, if you play past Samurai Showdown games, it just seemed like you, okay. You just updated some visual. Added in some, you know, Dead or Alive Six did that. They updated the visuals, they added like the stun and the fatal blows, but it all just looked so much better on Dead or Alive versus Samurai Showdown. And then he got the ultimate moves and stuff, but it just I didn't I didn't like it. 
I know I never was much of a Sam Rock Showdown fan. I think I played part one, two, and that was pretty much it. Okay, I'm done. All right. Okay, now we talk about the bad samurais. I like to go to the good ones. Let's talk about some Katana Katana Zero. Katana Zero was actually a good. It was a really good game. It um the story was fantastic, but it was one of those games that not people don't know about. Hmm. Um, it, it its story is a little complex. It, but it, it's good complex. Like if anyone ever did time stuff at all well, I think it's Katana Zero because it's just like Hotline Miami. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, and, and I think it's you know very very aware of itself, you know, uh, in what it's in what it's doing in the subject. You know, playing with time is always really fun to do in games. You have to do a ride or whatever. But I felt like it was very aware of itself, and I really liked that even though you played a silent protagonist, your decisions are actually yours. And I gotta say, I haven't played came across many games lately where, you know, that's the actual thing, but your decisions, you'll miss out on dialogue. You'll want to go play back chapters because, you know, you miss this dialogue because you decided to go about this completely different way. You need and to play Persona 5. I, I'm, I'm going to, I'm waiting for Terrence to even, uh... we're, we're, we're working on Persona 5, <laughs> okay, all right, but, uh, yeah, okay, right, let's keep it moving, uh... July. I don't think I messed with in July was Wolfenstein Youngblood. No, didn't play it. I did not. I know it wasn't going to be good. I did not like. Wolf, I don't. I played maybe an hour, hour and a half of it. Listen, I'm a huge fan of Wolfenstein. The, the new, the, the, this gen, this gen of Wolfenstein. I played the old ones. I love you know, the, old, the old ones. I love the old ones. Okay, they were great. You know what I'm saying? The one came out Xbox, but the ones that came out this generation oh, was easy. superb. Storyline was superb. One and two, you know, but three just, just the, the, those twins are annoying as heck. Just that's just how I feel. And then you change up the gameplay, you added more time to kill on and made a little bit more RPG elements that was unnecessarily. You know what I'm saying? Wolfenstein's always been about a single player shooting experience, you know, you're sneaking around, dual with all that still at Wolfenstein, they they just two annoying characters. And plus, you know, I don't think I can I, I, I think I tried to match me. I don't think you can even match me with everybody only. I, I don't think you can even find room. I think ugh, it just it didn't do nothing for me. I didn't even finish it. I may go back and finish it eventually, but it, it just, you know, it was just underwhelming to me. Okay, August came around. Remnant from the Ashes. Dark Souls with guns. Remnant from the Ashes was one, another one of those those games that went under the radar. It, it, people people did not expect it to be good. People were saying it was going to be bad. It's a good game. And that game actually came out, and people loved it. Definitely. And, and for me, I'm having difficulties with it, because I'm, I'm still at the first boss in the, in the room. He's teleporting all around. So I've been stuck there for did, months. Did it's, anyone it's, have a problem with clarity in that game? I don't even think I got that far. No, no, clarity is in like just uh, visual clarity and clarity on some things like the play boss or anything. Okay. No, no, I'm good. It, it's, it, it has it's multiplayer, three player, three three man teams. You know, it's like I said, Dark Souls with guns. It's free on it's on Xbox Game Pass right now. Currently, you know, that's why I got it on it's Xbox. Crazy. You know, but it, it's great. It's on Game Pass right now. Yeah, everything on Game Pass. There's a lot of games come out. Devil May Cry on Xbox Game Pass. Metro Exodus is on Game Pass. September. Yeah. So yeah, it's on there. It's on there. All right, let's keep on going. I play Control on Xbox. I didn't. I, you know that game was on the game of the year, and I was wondering like, why is it there? Is it I, good? Uh, is it- uh, I, I played Quantum Break. I played Alan Wake, made by Remedy. I played their. Alan game. Wake was actually really good. Alan Wake is good. Quantum Break was. I like Quantum Break. They tried to do something different with the, the the live episodes and stuff like that. I thought that was pretty cool. You know, they tried to do something different, but it just didn't mesh out so well. Maybe I need to play a little bit more Control, but I just I'm not feeling Control. Because I'm like maybe an hour, three, four hours in. I'm just like, okay, this is kind of boring. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I need to play a little bit more, give it a little bit more time. But, you know, like I said, one game of the year for IGN, you know, it's pretty great. You know, but, uh, you know, it's, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, September, Monster Hunter, Iceborne. We just talked about Monster Hunter. You know, new, new, new maps, new monsters, some new mechanics a little bit. You know, it, it's it's okay. It's fine. I like, I know it. I like Monster Hunter. It's one of the most played games I've played this generation. I'm currently sitting at 150 hours on Monster Hunter. Where I like the grind for the weapons. I like Monster Hunter. I just said my only problem is I think just some of the weapons are a little bit too sluggish for me. I like some fast pace. If I see a monster coming at me, I'm going to move my behind. I ain't, you know, I'm, I, that's just me. Hey, I'm good. But it's not bad. It's a great game. I think it's awesome, okay? Gears 5 came out. Okay, it's free on Xbox Game Pass. Also, if you got X, Xbox Game Pass, it's also for PC, the ultimate world. Oh, so a lot of games you can play. You can play them on PC also. You know, yeah, the game pass, fourteen ninety nine a month. The Netflix of game. I like I like Game Pass. You know, it's pretty good. You know, Gears Five came out. I like Gears Five. I always like Gears since the first one. 
okay, I, I didn't like Gears Four story too much because okay, the son of Don, the son of uh, Marcus, okay, that's great. I think Cat's story interests me more about her finding out who she is. Okay. The, the Locust is all she's a Locust. We all you play the game by now, you know who she is. I didn't like the ending. I think it was one of those Game of Thrones shock value endings. I think that really sucked. It really kind of messed up. If you play the game, you'll see it. I don't want to say too much about it. The multiplayer is awesome. It's pretty much what you expect from Gears. No different than Gears 4. New weapons, new modes. I like the, It had a free-for-all mode recently. I like that. I kept getting X from the back. But hey, I like the, the free-for-all mode. I think it's pretty good, okay? Borderlands 3 came out. Everybody waiting for Borderlands 3. Borderlands 3 came out. I, got, I played it. It was boring to me. Plain and simple. Borderlands what? Borderlands 3. I ain't played it. It was kind of boring to me because it's the same thing. I mean, you got bazillions of guns. But the thing about Borderlands, and the, you need to play with people. Yeah, it's, Borderlands it's has never been a game where you play by yourself. I play. That's not my problem. I play, I play pretty much one and two by myself. I play three alone. You only need to find a room and play with people. I mean, I might, I might find somebody. I hate playing with random you have people. PS4? I got it on Xbox. Though. Are you gonna I skip know. over Shadowkeep? I mean, with Destiny Shadowkeep? Yeah. Oh, I didn't play. He skipped over. You can mention it. You can say anything? No. I didn't play. I don't. Don't get me started on Destiny, okay? Because I can't stand the multiplayer. I read Destiny. I think it sucks, you know, pretty much. The game is. No. I, I mean, I, I got high hopes for Destiny. You, you about to make me get worked right down. Woosah. <laughs> Woosah. Okay. I'll just take this one. Minute. Okay, you got that one. Okay, all right, all right. Bungie is doing a great job. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. They, 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 moved, away they, they, they moved away from Activate. They moved away from Activate. Oh, they're That's why yeah, I didn't that's, 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 That was the whole split. Yeah. And some of the decisions made with Destiny 2 and why they were bad is because of pressure by Activision. You know, they've come out and said this. But uh, they've kind of come out with uh, Shadowkeep and they fixed. I really like what they're doing as far as fixing some of their roles, um, I mean, subclasses. And, you know, even now with the each different three months or whatever, they're reworking it, adding. If it's not interesting, doesn't feel interested in playing it, or something just feels by default, they're changing it so that you have real choice again. You don't like to go in to an event, go into a raid or whatever, and there's must there. things that you have to use or you're getting kicked from the party. And I feel like they definitely address that. There are obviously things that are strong, but it feels, more things feel viable and that feels really good to play. Fix uh, the multiplayer. I'm Fix the PvP. I'm, 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 a cru- I'm a Crucible player. I like the Crucible, okay? Fix that junk, all right? Yes. Really. What? I, I, but you'll never be happy with the Crucible. Next. Because you don't like, you know... I can deal with the weapons. weapons. I can deal with weapons in the special gear, but some weapons are really OP. They really are. Some weapons... Some, they need right. to, they need I, to, I, will, I will trash Bungie on this a little bit because uh, last year with the whole War of the Wolves, that it was cool that you gave us a special little icon because, you know, we ran with the wolves during that time. But also, I don't think anyone should have to run with wolves. Wolves are dangerous. Wolves aren't your friends. Just gonna leave that, leave it at that. Oh, the, the weapon, the weapon was called uh, Lord of the Wolves. Oh, okay. And it yeah, was right. the shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was also, yeah. for some reason, sort of like a sniper rifle, which was a problem. <laughs> so. yeah, yeah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I understand. I'm like, what are you talking about? If you were lucky right. enough to get it, you were just fucking people uh, up for free. Okay, all right. Leave me out of here. Sorry. No, you, I'm gonna monetize you, I swear. Okay, all right. October. My. My. Okay, King. Star King. Wars, Jedi Fallen. Well, that was in November. That was October. November. Not October. Well, we'd like to. Build. No, it was. I didn't get it to know. I didn't get to December because Amazon didn't deliver it to me properly, so I had to wait. Okay. okay. Just, All right. I so I Jedi, it came out. No, I thought it was November. Hold on, let me see. Because I know November. Death Stranding came out November, and Jedi Fall Over. Let's look that one up. Uh, okay, but while he's looking that up, Call of Duty: Modern Warfare came out. November fifteenth. Okay, he's right. It came oh, out. I, no, it came out November fifteenth. November. Right. Okay. Call of Duty Modern Warfare came out, okay? I'm not an overall fan of Call of Duty Modern Warfare, but I did That's like, the I did like the campaign. The campaign was off the chain. I love the night vision. I love the part where you defended the compound and they got the, you got to shoot the flares in the air and see the guys coming to try. I love the campaign of Modern Warfare. The multiplayer, they, it's still can't be Modern Duty. It's still can't be Call of Duty. It's still the same oh. thing. It's, it's called it's gonna be camp. It's, it's yeah, the same, same thing. But I, I like the ground war. I think it was pretty good. I like the gunfight two v two. I like the way the weapons have like less recoil. They seem more heavier, more realistic. Like I can actually get some kills on Call of Duty. 
I'm trying to work through my first prestige on Call of Duty. I've never prestige on any Call of Duty at all. I'm working through that. Maybe I'll get it someday before the next Call of Duty comes out. Probably not next this year. Probably won't make it. Okay, all right. But it's pretty. It's, it's, it's not bad. It's still Call of Duty. But I, I think the campaign is awesome on this one. I think it's great. All right. The Outer Worlds came out. Outer Worlds. Fallout New Vegas in space. Outer Worlds. We even dominated Fallout New yeah. Vegas. Outer Worlds was. I was actually quite the only reason Outer Worlds didn't make a game of the year is because it came out too late. That was the only reason. But that game, what in my opinion, was game of the year because they did a lot. They did a lot. Your choices actually mattered on that game. Every choice yeah, that's you true. made yeah, mattered. Yeah. Like I, I, I was literally sitting on the first zone for fifteen minutes. At the end of the, literally all I had to say is one word to end the game. I was sitting there like, should I even do this? Should I not do this? Like I don't know what to do. Like. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah I had yeah. to go. This is the best one. Like one of the, literally the first games where I had to go back to talk to the main person and get the full story from this person, then go over to her. And uh, the one part is that you try you talk to the person to the point where they tell you everything. You go back and tell the lady, and she'll explain her end. And if you throw his part in there, and she she'll be like, oh well. I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa this is getting deep. You know a game's real when you backtrack and it's not for a quest. It was very story driven, very choice heavy. <laughs> gameplay, like I said, gameplay is pretty much what you expect from a Fallout game. It, it, it is. Weapons are pretty dope. I think the weapons are pretty cool. I, I like the. the uh, Every weapon it felt good. It felt good. I like the upgrade, the armor, it's all the campaigns were very interesting. It's a very good game overall. It's a great, it's an awesome game. But the story does matter in that game. That game has a very good, high replayability because, just because of the story alone. Seeing what happens if you do this versus if you do this. Mm -hmm. I think it was awesome. I think it was good, okay? So next was, was in November. Uh, Death Stranding came out in November. All right, so everybody has a gripe about this. Yeah, let's talk about that one. Death, Str Death Stranding. It's the first Strand type game. Str it's the first Strand. Of course, it's the first Strand. <laughs> but what, what Kojima said, I can kind of agree with what he said. It was messed up how he said it, but I can agree because he said Death Stranding. We're in the era of shooters, first-person shooters, yeah, yeah. and everybody's so stuck on that that when Death Stranding came out, everyone was like, oh, this game's whack, because you're playing Delivery Man, basically, all the time. But it's not like... I was playing the game to find out what the heck was going on with the world. Yeah, I, I, that interests me more. What's going on yeah, in the world? What's going that's on with the world? I, that's what I want. I played about an hour of it. Um, so I, that, that interests me more. I gotta get back on it. You know, I'm trying to clear my backlog out, but you know, it's Hideo Kojima. This guy has changed. He has created genres alone. His mind alone. Metal Gear Solid. Stealth genre. He created that on the Nintendo. The NES with Metal Gear. You know, this guy is, this is a, a visionary, a game developer, okay? Yeah. He's actually thinking about stop doing gaming and just doing movies. Correct. Because he, he does a good job in his cutscenes. A lot of, in a lot of games that he's created, I got Zone. I love Zone of the Enders. I wish they get a, get a part three of that game series. I, I'm crazy for Zone of the Enders. You know, it's, it's awesome. You know, but I think Death Stranding, like I said, it's a, it's a it's a different world than what he's different. used to. People want to the, the, the Call of Duty came out just in November. That's what everybody wants. All the kids want Call of Duty. Well, look cool. Look people, people playing Metal Gear Solid. People playing Metal Gear Solid. They expecting another Metal Gear Solid. Like, yeah, and then, I think that's what, also that's the issue. They expecting another Metal Gear. People it's not Metal expecting Gear. stuff. I think the game deserves a chance. If you haven't played it, yet, I think you should get it. It's awesome. Supporting. It, it did well. It did good. It's, it's, it, I, I like I said the story interesting. I didn't know what's going on. It's very interesting. I, I want to know. Based yeah. on the advertising that hype around it, yeah. whether the game was good or not, it was gonna do well. Yeah, I mean, it's a Hideo Kojima. People are gonna yeah. buy it. His name alone gonna sell the game. Name, you know? That's like a Final Fantasy game actually doing bad. <laughs> Final Fantasy did have a game that actually did. Okay, we did, okay. <laughs> he, he, he was he was too fond of Final Fantasy fifteen. Okay, the circle simulator, okay, but we're gonna go we gonna we gonna we're gonna we gonna, we gonna stay there for another podcast, all right? Okay, we had Shimu three finally came out after what, twenty years, eighteen, nineteen years, Shimu three finally Shimu came out. Shimu three caught a lot of caught a lot of yes. Shimu three caught a lot of hate. And the problem I people don't read. That's one of the issues, and they don't listen. He said that he had two more games he wanted to create. Everybody thought Shenmue 3 was going to be the last one. I'm like, but he said he had two more. Yeah, correct. So he named Shenmue 3 and Shenmue 4. That's the problem. And then, and because it, it left him off on, Shenmue 3 left him off on another cliff, cliffhanger. I mean, he was just like, oh, I don't like that. I'm like, bro, listen, look, yo. Did you enjoy the game? I did you enjoy the game. Yeah, I was like, did you enjoy, did you enjoy the way then? Like, one of my friends is complaining about the whole time. I'm like, bro, you played Shenmue 1 and 2 and you saw the cliffhanger? You good? You was good then. Why aren't you good now? Is it because you're older and you're impatient. Well, <laughs> so, but um, they, more like, expectations. 
Yeah, he, he he didn't stray. The one thing I liked, he didn't stray away from his his roots. He kept the old school time thing. The normal, you know, everything you do is you know your actions. He didn't stray away from that, but people didn't like that. They want all this new stuff and all this. I'm just like, guys, yo, I haven't played it yet, but I'm gonna get it eventually. Like I said, I played one and two. I got one and two, you know, here with me. So I'm, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna look for. I already know I'm gonna get it eventually, but it's Shinmu. I mean, if you haven't played one and two, then of course three is gonna go over your head. Mm-hmm. Go back and watch a YouTube video and you can see what one and two is about. Read it on Wikipedia. Shinmu to one and two are awesome games. You know, it, it's just a different kind of game. It's not a first person shooter. It's not a you know fighting game. Is and, it? and you know the best part about it? Shinmu three didn't do what Kingdom Hearts three did. We're gonna we gonna, we gonna, we gonna talk about that one in a moment. We're gonna, gonna circle back to that. Circle Shinmu later back to that. One, okay. All right, <laughs> but we'll see. Kind of like this younger generation game is kind of getting way successful art games is hard to pull off unless you have a name because everybody wants to shoot again everybody the kids want to yeah. the kids want to keep these kids want these games that they can put on social media get a million views okay i just did a clutch of killing five they, guys they, with a sniper rifle jumping across this map you know what i'm saying and you know exactly that's what they want they you know don't want that experience they don't spend they don't they don't they don't see the artist artistry that are some of the older games yeah. are older, 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 older games you know? G- games are art yeah. they're not just there for entertainment that one they're just like tattoos. They're just like, you know, skating. Everything is an art, but, you know, nowadays, art isn't really the most important thing. Everybody just wants the quickest, I'm trending type. Yeah, correct. Video, so. Yeah. So, we, we, it, it, it's fine. I mean, games are art. Games are beautiful. Games are love. Gaming is period. Okay. Also came out Jedi Fallen Order. Respawn. We love you, Respawn. Jedi Fallen Order came out. So, a Star Wars game done right. So Jedi Fallen Order did really good on their game. It did really good. But the problem is that I'm a heavily avid Souls player. Yes, you are. So the game was phenomenally easy. <laughs> For him, it was easy. <laughs> you know, it, it seemed to me, it, it seemed to me, everybody in the game, from the rats, the plants, the spiders, everybody just is a master of the two-hit combo. I swear. Because your character gets hit, hit, killed in like one or two hits. Okay, I'm, no, I'm, I'm saying like the bomb rats are hitting with two-hit combos. <laughs> ah, what the... Ew, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> bro, you know what I'm saying? Just see, oh, I'm a Jedi Master and I'm a Master. Ain't no Jedi Master. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Pilot one, whatever. whatever. I'm, I'm, playing, Jedi. I'm, I'm playing the game on the Jedi Master difficulty. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So that's probably why I'm having difficulty. But it, it's a great game. Respawn did very well with the Star Wars name. You know, Respawn has pretty, pretty much been there a year for gaming. They've done awesome work with the game. It's pretty good. pretty dope. I like the gameplay. It's tight. Like I said, if you're, if you're a Dark Souls player, hardcore, it's going to be easy for you. I'm not a hardcore Dark Souls player. You know what I'm saying? I'm still working through Sekiro. I finished Nio. You know what I'm saying? So, but I mean, it's, it's great. It's awesome. It's great to see it. It's, it's, it's cool. It's the best part about that game was Darth Vader. That was I haven't gotten that far yet. Yeah, I know, that's, all, okay. that's all I'm saying. Okay, we, we, we haven't gotten that far yet. So, we're not going to spoil it for you guys because it's a fresh game. You know what I'm saying? So, if you, got, if you haven't got it, buy it. Support Respawn. Support good gaming. All right, so, don't uh, say that. <laughs> what? Don't support just buy it just to support. No, I'm saying support good game developers. Good game. Yeah, you need to let me finish. No, 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 no. He no. said that. I heard it. I know he said that. Yeah. But I'm saying just don't say that. No, because people just, um, people immediately equate it with EA or Disney. I mean, you know what I'm saying? But, okay, people forget who's developing the game Respawn. Every, see, the thing is that everybody forgets about everything. Like, people think, people think, people think when a, when a game is publishing a game, they think they create it. Nobody knows. Everybody forgets. Yeah. Like, everybody, like, Dragon Ball Kakarot, my game coming out pretty soon, is published by Bandai Namco. So everybody thinks, oh, it's going to be trash. No, it wasn't. It wasn't created by them. Yeah. It, it was created by uh, another team. Yes. A whole, I forgot the name of the team, but they're a new team. Yeah. And I'm just like, different team. And that's why I said good game developers. Respawn has been a good game developer's like as of now, but their their, their problem is right now that this the main thing I have right now is they just created Apex Legends. Apex Legends, they're diving so much. They're they're diving so much time into that game because that's their biggest game right now. Well, it's I mean, I mean it's free to play. It's great. I it's Titanfall s gameplay. But they that game delayed one of your favorite games that was going to come out. Titanfall three. I understand that. It really hurts my heart because I'm a huge Titanfall fan. I love me some Titanfall. I mean, you you watch my channel, you know. I got a good 20, 30 videos of me playing Titanfall on my, my channel, okay? I'm a huge Titanfall fan, but I like to see, like I'm saying, I, 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 I respect them because they, they came out Apex, and nothing against Apex Legends. It's great, it's, it's good. I'm just not a Battle Royale fan. I'm, I'm too fast paced in my game. I don't want to just die and just, now I gotta load up a different game on a different server. I want, I'm, I'm Titanfall. 
If I'm getting murked or come back in, jumping around, gunning mugs down, call down my Titan, stepping on you, executing your, give me your battery pump, beat myself, beep, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a huge, I, but I respect Respawn as a whole. People tend, and also people tend to forget that and back in the day, EA used to make good games. Yeah, they've yeah, changed. Yeah. They they've changed over the past fifteen years because they're big. They're a big company. Yeah, see, they got a big company. There's this the game is different now. It's about business for them. It's not it's about like the game. You know, EA, yeah, exactly. EA big. I miss EA big. You know, street, EA NBA street. Big you know, sports. you know, all that stuff is, is dope. You know, I'm, I'm into those games. Okay, but that's it's all good. Overall, respect, respect, and support good development. Right. Okay. Side note: Do not judge a company's old work by their, with their new work because Obsidian was taking a lot of crap because of their past games yeah. before Outer World came out. I mean, they did, they did Nights of the Old, Nights of the, Nights of the Old Republic 2 was kind of rushed. But that was that was history behind that game. You know what I'm saying? But, okay, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I mean, just because uh, people change, so can gaming companies change. Yeah, obviously, people don't think that. Yeah, no, they, they, people change, gaming companies change. Okay, in December, I didn't play anything new. The only thing that came out new for me was Halo Reach on the Master Chief Collection, but, you know, I played that. I don't think I played anything new. I, I played that back in 2010 when, you know, the when it first came out on Xbox 360. You know, Halo Reach is awesome. If you got the Master Chief Collection, make sure you get Halo. You know what I'm saying? It's, on, it's free on Game Pass, you know, so I got the whole thing on Game Pass. The whole collection. I got the, the disc, too, but I also got the Game Pass version. I'm, if I'm feeling lazy... If I'm gonna get up my draws and put a disc in, I can play on Game Pass, okay? All right, so, but Halo Reach is awesome. It's one of my favorite Halo games. One of my top Halo games. I like Halo. I like the story, and I like the way it was, gameplay, okay? That's game in 2019, okay? It was a pretty good year for game in 2019. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not gonna let this end. Okay. It's not about it being released necessarily, but the announcement of releases. Uh, I think Ryan's 20th year anniversary. Who? Uh, Riot. Riot Games, oh, I'm sorry, 10th year anniversary <laughs> marks a very big moment because you're about to have somewhat of a a dynasty. Like, they're, they're making their dynasty and they, they're they farming out their IP to different um, indie studios that they know make good games. Okay, but so you can... Um, Riot buys some of the companies. No, no, he did, they, that's not the thing. They They're having to make the game and the only thing they're doing it doing is make sure to stay true to the Lord. But otherwise, they have full. Um, Ooh, Rising Thunder. Well, no, no, no. That that is them. That's Riot's team. They bought. They, they bought the team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. But you know, the announcement. There's several different games, and all the ones to come fit from different indie companies. Not that was important. Okay. Well. Okay. Just support indie companies. Support the small gamers. Support the small YouTube channels. Support, support good developers. And we're gonna we gonna we that's that's pretty much support the good people, okay? All right, that's pretty much covers our well, gaming now. in twenty nineteen, okay? Now we in twenty twenty. What's your expectations for game twenty twenty? You got Dragon Ball Z Kakarot coming Bro, out. Twenty okay, so we're gonna we gonna make this part real fast. I know, I know. Yeah, so twenty twenty is gonna. I tell everybody twenty twenty is gonna be a dangerous year. That's literally a dangerous year for gaming. It is literally the most yeah. dangerous. We got two new consoles coming out: the Xbox Series X. How many of those they're making? Apparently, and the PlayStation Five. I've seen that way that Xbox Series X looks like a refrigerator, and the PlayStation Five looks like a glowing toilet. Okay, <laughs> I hope that's not the PlayStation Five. That's gonna be looking weird on my dog on cat cabinet. That thing looks terrible. It looks ugly. Period. You know, and you know it. it okay, we know some games. We know this was in the gaming generation, so we're not probably going. We got what we got coming out. Oh, Kakarot's coming out. Cyberpunk 2020 is coming out. 2077. Uh, sorry, I'm 2020. I'm thinking about the Super Nintendo game. Okay, uh, Doom Eternal's coming out. Um, what else is coming? Nio 2 is coming out. We got some Persona 5 Royals. Persona 5 Royals. I'm still working through the first Persona. My first Persona 5. I gotta get. I gotta let Glenn do that one. While I'm clearing my backlog out. Okay. All right. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I mean, it's gonna be. It, 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 like I said, it's the end of the generation. It's been a very decisive gaming generation. You know what I'm saying? It's been kind of... And like, Dragon Ball Fighter Season 3, bro. I'm season like, 3 coming out. <laughs> season 3 coming out. I got to get back. I got my behind kicked on some on some Dragon Ball Fighters by this guy all the time. I got, I got to fix that somehow. You know what I'm saying? I'm working on it. But as I get better, he's going to... If, 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 if it's pretty much me being Bowie from Yu Yu Hakusho, and he's Tagoro. I thought I was getting stronger, but he kept getting stronger, too. You know what I'm saying? That's what probably going to happen, okay? All right? So, uh, yeah, but... Uh, it's gonna be a very decisive year for for twenty twenty. Like I said, 
consoles, games coming in. Gonna it's, it's gonna be everybody's it's, pockets gonna be yeah. on fire. Man, my pockets are fire already. Yeah. Three, uh, I forgot Resident Evil Three is coming out. You know, two was awesome. You know what I'm saying? I didn't play two because I played it back in the day. My mate did it eventually. You know? Wait, you never played Resident Evil Two? Not this one. I played the one when I was a resident. I played the PS One versions. Okay. All right, we can end this podcast. I don't end no podcast. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I think it's important for 2020 to say how many big game studios are coming out with a mobile game. We'll, we'll, it's we'll, it's we'll not these clickbait. We'll, 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 we'll sit in for the next podcast, okay? Because we, we, we kind of, we, 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 we went a lot. Yeah. Yeah, we went a lot, okay? But, uh, yeah, um, overall, it's going to be a very interesting year, okay? You I'm, need I'm, to play Resident Evil 2. I'm, 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 I'm going to go buy Resident Evil 2, okay? All right, I'm going to go buy the new one. It's cheap. As a matter of fact, I think it's on sale right now to play the yeah. I don't like I don't like digital games, but I'll buy it. it. I'll buy it while it's cheap, you know, but, uh, okay. Overall, it's been a good year for 2019 for gaming. 2020 is here. 2019 is it's gonna be, it's it, not going to be nothing compared to 2020. It, it, it's it's going to be great. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll see what happens. But I like to thank you all for listening to my podcast. Thank Afro Kings you and La Soul for being here supporting the podcast. And we're going to try to do this more and more. All right. If you like the podcast, be sure to comment, like, subscribe. Tell us about your games of 2019 that you enjoy, what you like, what you didn't like what you have fun with, and what's your expectations for this year and beyond. And as always, gaming is purity. Peace.